Okay, for this one, the natural logs, those are the same thing as a log base E. So for this problem, I'm actually going to write it as a log base E because eventually we have to change from log form to exponential. Now there's two of them here. There's a plus. We're, we'll combine those together first. Plus means that it'll turn into multiplication. So natural log, again, I told you was the same thing as a log base E. And we're going to do x times x minus 2. And then we're just going to do another log base E here, x plus 4 equals 0. Everything else is the same. We just wanted to combine the, uh, the first two there. Now we'll turn this into a division problem because you got the minus there with their log properties. That's what, what happens. x times x minus 2 over x plus 4. And that's going to equal 0. So we combine that together. Uh, negative turns into division. Uh, next, we're going to change from log form into exponential form. e to the 0 is going to equal x squared minus 2x all over x plus 4. So that's why I wanted to write the ln as a base e for this step here. So again, you take the base, raise the number after the equal sign, we'll equal all this here. Now what is e to the 0? e to the 0 is 1. In fact, anything to the 0 power is equal to uh, 1. So that's, that's where that one comes from. Uh, we need, now need to multiply both sides by x plus 4 to get rid of the fraction. So we're going to do x plus 4 equals x squared minus uh, 2x. And we need to set it equal to 0 because we have a quadratic. So we're going to move the x and the 4 over to the other side and they change signs. So when that happens, negative 2x, we're subtracting an x, that's negative 3x. The 4 also becomes negative when we take that over to the other side. We're going to factor the remaining one. So when we factor that one, we have a 1 and a 4 that we're going to use. And one's positive and one's negative. We're going to do a negative 4 and a positive 1 to get the negative 3. And when we set that equal to 0, we get two answers, negative 1, and we also get positive 4. Now, if we take our answers, we've got to make sure, we make sure they both work in the original one. If I put negative 1 into here, I'm taking natural log of a negative number, or even if I put it in here, I would have a negative number. So because of that reason, we can't include negative 1 as one of our answers. However, 4 works. Natural log of 4, that's positive. 4 minus 2 is positive. 4 plus 4 is positive, which means that your only answer is going to be 4. So again, these log problems, you must check them back with the original one to make sure your answers fit the domain of the log.